Hello, I'm Hadi Benat from the University of Massachusetts in Boston. My colleagues and I are pleased to share some of the findings from our experience report, Initiating and Sustaining Student Professionalization Through Grant Writing. We'll introduce the Crow team, describe the role grant writing plays for us, share the personas we've developed to evaluate our work, and offer some takeaways. Since 2015, we have built the Crow Research Project from two faculty and five students at Purdue into an interdisciplinary team with faculty and student researchers at universities in the US, Poland, and soon China. Crow is both the software and platform we're developing for Corpus Research and the team that builds and supports the platform while maintaining ambitious outreach and research agendas. Hi, I'm Bradley Dilger from Purdue. Crow's primary goal is creating and sharing useful tools for writing research, but we also want to model ethical, sustainable work practices. We think it's possible to meaningfully engage students in research and decision-making. In fact, we think not involving students as full team members is counterproductive and unfair. Grant writing helps us balance professional development and productivity. Students get meaningful experience and learn transferable skills when their role goes beyond providing cheap labor. Crow makes student work visible by crediting students whenever possible. And we either pay students, offer course credit through internships or independent studies, or limit the amount of volunteer work they can do for our project. So grant writing is more than just a way to fund Crow project activity. It's at the heart of our mentoring. Let's explore the rationale behind that. Hi, I'm Michelle McMillan from NC State. While ours is not a traditional community engagement project, developing Crow requires that researchers engage a variety of communities inside and outside the university. Flowers Frame helps us to develop best practices and teach methods for mentoring and engagement that increase rhetorical confidence, not only when doing Crow work, but in a variety of contexts. Our grant writing model is a useful example for examining how we build rhetorical, technical, and mentoring confidence in team members because it encompasses so many aspects of collaboration within and outside the university. Grant writing offers us a lens to reflect on our own broadest project goals while also examining the best practices and infrastructure that support collaborative work. The distributed nature of our team means we must develop sustainable strategies for assigning work, onboarding new researchers, and coordinating ongoing research, writing, and development goals. Attention to infrastructure helps us to balance the many aspects of Crow. Crow researchers participate in writing grants and in the evaluation and revision of our grant strategy from the ground up. We share an outline of our full grant strategy in the SIGDOC proceedings to gain new perspectives and continually, continually reevaluate our grant writing practices. Keeping our strategy public, both by sharing with the field and sharing with our team, creates a teaching learning reciprocity that also supports future work. To evaluate our professional development efforts, we interviewed team members and created student personas encapsulating their experiences. We'll share an overview of methods and the personas themselves. We conducted interviews and coded interview data using categories derived from Whitney Quesenberry's approach to building personas. Michelle and I then used our own experiences and data from our team communication platform Basecamp to develop two student personas. This approach offers Crow a way to evaluate our professional development efforts across our whole project. Personas are easy to share too. Let's review the two personas. Our typical undergraduate researcher, Casey Sinclair, is a professional writing major interested in learning new tools. They want to better understand how things learned in courses might be used in other contexts. Casey both conducts writing research and helps our documentation and publicity efforts. Casey is comfortable working alone, and in fact preferred that at first. They grew into teamwork by getting feedback from others about their own writing and listening as Crow researchers discussed each other's work. Casey came to understand the value of responding to writing and wanted to get better at offering this feedback too. Nora Ferris is a graduate student who learned about Crow through their networks. 
is interested in interdisciplinary research, nor is studying rhetoric and composition and uses textual analysis in their own work, nor is primarily interested in research and had a supporting role in writing an internal grant before taking on a lead role for external grant writing. They talked about the value of administrative skills like budgeting that have applications outside of Crow. Nor has a strong sense of ethics and is comfortable learning by doing. They enjoy collaboration, but appreciate when roles are clearly defined. Collaborative writing projects can be overwhelming when there are many comments and revision marks on working documents. Writing for Crow has helped Nor learn how grants fit into the larger vision of their scholarship. So, what do these personas tell us about grant writing and student professionalization? Personas confirm we have successfully encouraged our faculty and student researchers to adapt what Veronda Montegamery calls networked mentoring, where traditional hierarchies are supplemented by peer-to-peer -peer and student-to-faculty learning, and participants see mentoring as making connections too. They highlight the critical role of providing feedback for our team and the differing ways undergraduate and graduate researchers think working with Crow will help them after graduation. Personas also reveal a cyclical pattern of professional development that follows the arc of grant writing. While this is not surprising, eliminating this cycle can help us explore ways to capitalize on these parallels and ensure they complement each other. To conclude our presentation, we'll share the recommendations building these personas generated for the Crow team. We'll also generalize them so they can be adapted by other technical and professional communication teachers and researchers. This experience report yielded results that are valuable both for our team and for the wider field. We learned that the reflective and participatory methods we used for this small study can help us iterate our grant writing strategies and improve our methods for mentoring undergraduate and graduate researchers. We also learned that we need to focus more attention on assigning explicit roles and defining tasks when we write collaboratively. We share some specific takeaways for TechCon scholars, the value of teaching grant writing and research teams, building visible infrastructures to support work, and the need for a commitment to ethical treatment of student researchers. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We also want to thank the student researchers we interviewed and the funding agencies who've made this work possible. We invite you to read our experience report and visit the Crow website to learn more about the digital tools and approaches to collaboration we're creating to support writing research.